We really had a great discussion about basketball matters today, both with the athletics directors in their meeting and then in our joint meeting between the ADs and the CEOs. And we've prioritized basketball in the Big South Conference, so it's something that I, even our presidents take a lot of interest in. Uh, so on the scheduling side of things, our women's uh, basketball coaches had recommended an 18-game schedule uh, and men's basketball a 16-game schedule for this year. And we'll reevaluate for the following year but uh, it really sets up well for what we're trying to do for basketball for this coming season. We're really doing something unique in women's basketball for our, our championship this year. We're going to what we're calling a double pod system, something that the, uh, the men's and women's coaches both have talked about a little bit. And the women thought that it might be the time to experiment with that a little bit. So what happens is it's similar to the men's format in that it's an earned seed format of the first round played on higher seeds on Tuesday and then on Thursday and Friday the quarterfinals and semifinals will take place. The difference here being that the number one seed will host uh, four teams and the number two seed will host four teams, thus the double pod. So there's two different sites for quarterfinals and semifinals. And then the championship game is at the highest remaining seed. So what it does is it rewards regular season performance. It ensures you're going to have good crowds at the games because all games will be in the evening. You won't have those Thursday afternoon games that are so difficult to draw fans to. Uh, and it really helps ensure that one of our better teams is going to represent the Big South Conference in the NCAA championships, which is so important to us and really consistent with our strategic plan to be successful nationally in basketball. The way we're going we're gonna to do the, the values-based uh, revenue distribution once it starts up in 1920 is uh, equal shares for, the, for each member of the conference for the first, uh, first two years and then uh, um, uh, a three-year rolling average after that. Uh, so if, if, you, if a particular school earns more units, they, they'd see more of the, more of the revenue. This is the first time the NCAA has put together a fund that actually rewards academic performance. So there will be units distributed based on your APR and your graduation success rates. Uh, so it's, it's eventually going to be a large sum of money. In fact, the units that earn through the values-based revenue distribution will end up being more valuable and, and more than the basketball uh, units that are distributed based on your success in the NCAA basketball championship. So it's something that is really critical for us to give a lot of thought to. We've had a committee in place for about a year now talking about different uh, scenarios. Our presidents wanted to see a range of options about what that would look like. Uh, distributing it across the conference equally versus rewarding those who earn the units themselves. And also, how can we do this in, that helps our institutions to budget uh, for those funds as well? So we came up with a unique option that allows for what we're calling a three-year rolling distribution. So each year's distribution will be based on shares, based on how many of those units you've earned over the last three years. Now, every institution will be assured of achieving and receiving at least one unit, but those that achieve the units will be rewarded for their academic success. I serve on, on the NCAA's presidential forum, uh, and then uh, Frank Bonner uh, serves on the NCAA's Division I board of directors. And so both of us have been particularly involved with the NCAA over, over uh, the recent stretch. And both were, were there when, when Condoleezza Rice and the other members of the Basketball Commission gave their findings back in April. And so, yeah, we, we spent a good portion of the meeting today, uh, Council CEO's meeting, just talking through uh, some of the, the broader issues that the NCAA is, is thinking through.